I don't want to be an icon. I want to be an idea, you know? I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent magic, right? You're in a universe and two plus two equals four. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be. There's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice, like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. For me, I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. A person's strengths are often their biggest weaknesses. And so that also means that their weaknesses can be their strengths. So me, I am weak. In all those ways that I listed, I am weak. But I don't accept that. I don't accept that I am what I am and that that is what I'm doomed to be. No, I don't accept that. I'm fighting. I'm always fighting. I'm struggling and I'm scrapping and I'm kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them, to stop them. Some days I win. Some days I don't. But each and every day I get back up. And I move forward with my fist clenched toward the battle, toward the struggle. And I fight with everything I've got to overcome those weaknesses and those shortfalls and those flaws. As I strive to be just a little bit better today than I was yesterday. The only thing that I can see, and you can never really look at yourself. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not yeah, be yeah. outworked, right. period. Yeah. You know, you might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. You might be all of those things. You got it on me in nine categories. You're getting off first, yeah. or I'm going to die. It's really that simple, right? So let's go back to the question about what if people block me out. It's, it's going to be two options. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get back in, or I'm going to be dead. You're not going to outwork me. It's a, it's a very, it's such a simple, basic concept. It's the, the guy who is willing to hustle the most is going to be the guy that just gets that loose ball. The commodity that I see the majority of people who aren't getting the places they want or aren't achieving the things that, that they want in this business is strictly based on hustle. It's strictly based on being outworked. It's strictly based on missing crucial opportunities. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're gonna see exactly why it went that way. And you're gonna be okay with it. But quit tripping during the process. Oh Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh Lord, why I lose my job? You ain't the only one unemployed. Oh Lord, why he leave me? You ain't, you ain't the first chick got left. This might, this might not even be your last time getting left. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you're in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. He gonna fix it. It's a simple process. The only reason I'm telling you this, because this is how I made it. I just do me. I just, I'm just being me. I stay uniquely who I am because you are okay just the way you are because you, God made you uniquely who you are. He wanted you to be just like you are.